Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a video all about cooking. There's no machining, no welding, no steam engines. All I'm going to do is cook something. I'm going to do one of my favourites, something that my dad used to cook all the time, and it's cheese and onion done in the oven. Uh, one of the lads from work brought us a small onion in today, and he says, John, you've just got to do a video using this onion. So, this video is especially for the lads at work. The ingredients are very simple. You need some tomatoes, some cheese, got some cheddar cheese. I've also got some red Leicester cheese. You need a bowl to cook it in, or a dish to cook it in, and you need one of these, a smallish onion. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the onion up. I hate cutting onions up. Um, I've devised a bit of a method that stops us getting the, the teary eyes. Anyway, we'll cut it up and see if it's, see if it's going to work this time. This is a beautiful onion. It'll be very, very mild. The first thing I do is put a layer of onions into the bottom of the dish. Roughly chopped, sliced tomatoes, then a layer of cheese. This cheese is already being grated, it just saves a little bit of time, that's all. More onion. We just give a bit of layers up, you can put anything you like in really. You could put corned beef in if you wanted to, or peppers. Or Not exactly helpful. Next, I've got four medium sized eggs. And this goes into a preheated oven. 200 degrees C, it'll probably take 45 minutes to an hour to cook it. Right as well, put the last little bit in. Basically, that's it. Right, there's no doubt about it, that's cooked. It's been there for just over an hour and it has. Got a lovely golden colour on top, nice crunchy top to it, and it's cooked all the way through. You know that, absolutely cooked to perfection. And the crunchy bits on the side, they're probably the best bits. That should do quite nicely for me. So, uh, We need something decent to wash it down with. So a nice full bodied red wine. Unfortunately the corkscrew is broke so I've had to make this one. 
actually made that tap handle at work nearly 50 years ago now, got at work at school. Once again, all that remains to be said is thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and bon appetit, bonny lad. This is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And that's a fine white wash it down with.